You're listening to One Family, What's God Doing? Where we explore what God's doing in YWAM locations throughout Virginia. We can't wait for you to find out what God's doing today. Welcome back to One Family, What's God Doing? And I'm excited because we've got somebody new on the screen. And Chris, I'm going to let you talk about who he is, but let me ask you this question to lead it in. Chris, what's God doing with City Lights? Yeah, well, you know, City Lights is our new hybrid location, basically, for YWAM Virginia. You know, we have our brick and mortar in Richmond and in Virginia Beach and now Lynchburg, which, by the way, we're about ready to sign the lease this week on that little bonus tip there. (laughs) But then this hybrid uh, location of bringing families together from different locations and merging them from their homes into a base location uh, is going to be launched in August. So we've been preparing a lot of content. Uh, we've, mm-hmm. We went through the DBS at Discipleship Bible School and recorded 120 hours of teaching. Uh, just phenomenal stuff. And now we've got another project. It's called Fit to Serve. And this is my brother from another mother, <laughs> Coach <laughs> Tim Powers. Uh, we met in October of 2009. And it was really from a word of the Lord for me. The Lord had told me that I needed to work on my own personal health. I may be skinny, but I'm scrappy. And But I was actually dealing with a lot of health issues and I was really struggling. And the Lord allowed me to build a relationship with Coach in Florida. And for several years, uh, we did ministry together here in Richmond, running human performance instructor certifications and personal training certifications and sports and fitness DTS. And then coach had an incredibly difficult experience of an, a virus that attacked his heart. And maybe he can share that later, but um, long story short, as we move into the city lights, uh, I really felt like the Lord wanted us to connect these two pieces of the word of God and submitting our bodies to the Lord as a living sacrifice as the as foundational pieces of the educational component of the YWAM City Lights ecosystem. So right now we are filming uh, for six weeks, human performance instructor certification type of content, personal training certification content that will be brought to and accessible to everyone, to families actually. So we've got a lot of crazy places that we are going to be shooting. This is actually one of the places that we will be doing some of the lectures from. But uh, this is Coach, and um, he's a dear dear friend of mine. I call him Coach. His name is Timothy Powers, but I call him <laughs> Coach Power. Well, now, Coach, Chris was saying something that sounded one way. He's talking about fitness and performance, and normally that – can seem to appeal to a certain demographic. But then he said what is being created is actually for everyone and for families, for young and old. And so tell me more about this fit to serve, this idea that God's calling us to submit our bodies in a way that everyone can access. Well, thank you for asking. I think probably they, someone said, well, can you, can you give one word as to what fitness really means, especially from God's standpoint? And that is fitness is vitality. And so when the Lord God formed the man and then the woman from the dust of the ground, he breathed the breath of life into the man's nostrils and the man became a living person. Well, that breath is known as vital force. And that vital force is nothing more and nothing less than electricity that powers up all 100 trillion cells in the human body. In this case, it's designed for us to glorify him and to carry out why he created us in the first place. And so if we look at 1 Thessalonians 5.23, that we are to be blameless and glorify God in our body, our soul, and our spirit, faultless, then we get a better picture of what fit to serve is. The whole idea is that it's about him. It's not something that we're doing for ourselves, our own self-interest. But quite frankly, it's an issue of obedience. He loves these bodies.
bodies. He made them in his, in his image and his likeness. We're going to carry them in some version into eternity. And so what makes it for everyone is, is that everyone needs to be healthy. But how actual fit in terms of doing sports and lifting things, uh, doing tasks that we're required in our everyday life, that really depends on what you have to do and what the magnitude of it is. But every needs, everyone needs to be healthy and disease-free so that it doesn't take us out of the game and our part in the Great Commission. One, one thing that I really love about what you are inviting us into, because I've gotten to talk with you and sit with you and literally walk with you, is that what you're talking about actually is accessible to anyone and everyone right now where they are and who they are. So give me an example of how simple it is to start this journey of being mindful of your fitness. <clears throat> well, the first thing is just understanding that our bodies are important to the Lord and that we are to take care of these bodies. First Thessalonians 6, 19 and 20. We, we have a inherent obligation to care for these bodies. And then all of a sudden, as you look at these bodies and you start to explore the unbelievable intelligence that went into creating them, we just think that they're just this throwaway tent, that they're not important. I mean, when you realize that there is uh, 27,000 trillions, trillions subatomic particles that make up a human body with 15 integrated systems. The blood supply in our body, the vascular pathways in the human body are 60,000 miles. That's going around the earth at the equator two and a half times. We could go on and on and on about the unbelievable intelligence and creativity and importance of this body. So, you know, the, the Hebrew word halacha that I learned from my brother Chris <laughs> is walking with God. So right there, you know, Jesus and his apostles walked 10,000 miles in his three-year ministry. That's 10 miles a day, seven days a week. And so just simply acknowledging how to walk efficiently and that we need to do something that is so basic, which, by the way, we take for granted. We just think that when a baby gets up on their two feet, that, they're, okay, they're going to walk. People don't realize that we need to walk in a certain efficient, biomechanically correct way to prevent injury and to maximize why we're walking. Sometimes it's, hey, I'm in a hurry. I got to get from point A to point B. And so there's this equipping and everybody needs to be equipped with the self-knowledge of how the Lord created this human body and what we are to do with it for his glory. We want to empower the church, the followers and disciples of Jesus, so that they can maximize that experience in the body. And of course, the self-pleasure that goes along with the body in and of itself, more energy, more vitality, having more fun, sleeping better, enjoying the food you eat, being loving to others, all comes with it. Yeah. Yeah. So like he, what he's saying is walk. <laughs> we need to walk. That's how simple it is. And drink water. I don't think that's, we've been talking about that this week. Just mm -hmm. literally walking and drinking water on a consistent basis will actually change your life. Yeah. And, and the yeah. drinking water, you know, again, sometimes the simple confounds the wise. <laughs> and that is the Lord created the human body that it is overall, and we've made some adjustments in this. People used to think that now recently that the human body was 72 to 75% water. It's not. Uh, a male carries about 60% water, a female 55. However, the brain is 90% water. Mm -hmm. The muscles are 75% water. The kidneys are 83% water. So depending on the area of the body, water is critical. And we were born in amniotic fluid, our mother's womb, which is water. We came from water, we are water, and we want to maintain those water volumes so that we can maximize these 15 integrated systems for his glory. Yeah. Well, and so what we're talking about is important. It's simple. And normally at this point, I would ask how people can come alongside in what y'all are doing. But 
This one's unique because one of the best ways people can come alongside this is to actually engage the content when it comes out. So Chris, tell me a little more about what people can expect and how they can engage with it. Yeah, well, as you see, Coach has a tremendous plethora of information and knowledge that the Lord has given him over, I don't know how many years of oh, doing this. Gosh, uh, studying it? Studying, uh, yeah. Almost 60 years. Okay, 60 years of studying is going to be boiled down into short videos that you can share out, that you can consume in a very simple format that we're planning on releasing those in August when we launch City Lights. Um, so sharing that content and living that content, I think is going to be the answer to the question of, you know, how, you know, how can you help? How can you get engaged is to literally share it with as many people as possible. And it's going to be extraordinarily engaging. It's going to, yeah. it's going to captivate your imagination. It's going to leave you with ideas and understandings that will blow your mind. And, that, and that's what happened to me. You know, when coach started sharing these things and helping me personally, it really sincerely transformed my health. And now that I'm 50, which I'm 50, you're, but <laughs> you're 50. I thought you were like 39. <laughs> I actually have more vitality now, even though I sleep less because of the situation with my family health and, uh, you know, and all the complexities I have in my life, I'm sleeping less, which is not good. Um, I, but my diet has changed so many in so many ways. I actually don't exercise as much as I used to because of the complexities. But I'm actually more, but I have, I'm more fit than I was before. And I know that the Lord wants to give that same gifts to all these parents out there and families who are running like crazy. How do I survive this this mm -hmm. thing called parenthood? And I know that He's going to release a simple solution for y'all in order to to be more vital as as yeah. coaches said. <clears throat> we're like kids in a candy store we we're just so excited about this opportunity to share this love this joy of fitness of movement <clears throat> you know as a matter of fact the overarching principle of how we get there is to eat and move and so thermogenesis the process of creating heat or electricity and energy electricity is by eating quality food that doesn't poison us, but rather it provides that fuel, those healing properties, and then moving, which also generates this together. So who doesn't like to eat good, high quality food? When we pray, oh Lord God, please help this food taste delicious. And then moving in such a way that it embraces you know, our walk with God. I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm jumping out of my chair here. I'm, I mean, we're excited. We want to start moving, Paul. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> well, what I love is when you invite people to engage and share, it's not so that we can see analytics go up. It's because we believe that when families actually press into this, they're not only going to experience changes within themselves and within their families, but their capacity to be ambassadors of Christ uh, suddenly goes to a new level. So I'm really grateful for uh, the ways that this is going to show, to help us to know God and to make him known. And before we leave, is there a verse that is coming up in y'all's heart that you want to share? Well, I, I was sharing First Thess uh, First Thessalonians 5, 23 to be blameless and glorify God in body, soul, and spirit. But here's one for you. You know, King David, I mean, this guy was a, a warrior of warrior, a man of men, a man after God's own heart. He knew, and he, in Psalm 30, verse 2, cried out to the Lord for the Lord to restore his vitality. King David knew that without being fit, that without having that raw electricity, he couldn't carry out his mission set before him. He knew it, so he cried out for it. And that's that's a very important verse for us. So if we're if we're not feeling up to our best, we're feeling sickly or we're not sleeping good or we have low energy, we've got to cry out to the Lord. But what's he gonna what's he gonna say to us? Do it. Do it. Okay. What do you what do you mean do it? Get moving. <laughs> well, I love it. And you know, coach, I'm I'm just really grateful for you. Uh the, the sacrifice you made even in, in making these six weeks possible and 
um, traveling and giving of your time and space, but also for the the decades that you've been living into this. And Chris, I'm I'm a part of the team, but I'm thankful for you and the team for committing to creating these videos because I do believe it's going to be a really powerful gift that people are going to realize is really, really accessible. So thank you for the work that you're doing now that you're going to do in the coming weeks and for your time sharing now. And I want to thank all of you for listening and not just for listening, but for walking with us as we together, as one family, explore what it means to know God and make him known. Our elbows are in. And now we're going to slide our hips over to the left. So Hannah, you're going to be going that way, right? Because that's left. I'm going to my left. So look, we're going to, we're going to slide over. And so that's one. And now we get back up. Now we go to, to the right. That's two and three and four and five. That's it. And six, I love these. And seven, and eight. If you'd like to learn more about what God's doing in Virginia, visit us at ywamva.org and join us next week for more stories of God at work.